Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm here to show you about the new feature in Tableau Server, enabling offline map support for Tableau Server. I'm actually on Tableau Online where the feature is there. It's not actually an issue on Tableau Online because inherently Tableau Online always has access to the mapping capabilities. But on Tableau Server, you might actually want to disable the ability for the Tableau Server to connect to the Tableau's own mapping servers and essentially just enable offline maps so you get some sort of a map, but you don't connect to the public internet to go and get the map tiles for that particular map. Um, if you use that feature, if you work in, for example, banking environments where uh, restriction is, you know, where internet is very heavily restricted, that's gonna be an, a problem when you're creating any sort of mapping attributes. So let me show you how that works. If you go here to the map option at the very top and you go to background maps, you'll see that there is now an offline map option. That's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. Before I switch to this, let me go to the map layers option so you can just see the difference between the online version and the offline version. On the online version, I get this drop down showing me all the different things that I can switch on, disable, and so on and so forth. I can add a bit of terrain, coastline, and it actually changes the map here in the background. You can see that that refreshed there. If I go over to the offline version, um, you actually lose a lot of that. So you don't have as much control. Essentially, it's just a static image of the tiles, but it gives you some resemblance of a map if you want to visualize it. If I just zoom out here, I still get the world map um, loading up in the background. And this is actually quite handy because it means that I can still visualize what I need to without worrying too much about whether users have access to the internet or not. So that's a nice feature to have there. It's a nice sort of quality of life improvement if you work in an environment where that was a small issue. And that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. There's not much more to show here. If you haven't noticed, I'm actually using a workbook that I built in a previous demo showing how you can actually use uh, Tableau Prep to blend spatial files uh, to data sets. And what I did is I published that data source over here to Tableau online, and I'm now using that in this demo. So check out that video in the pop-up uh, on the screen and also in the description below. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, you know what to do. If you haven't enjoyed this video, hit the dislike button twice and I'll catch you in the next video.